Hey, how's everybody doing? This is Sean. Happy 4th of July, everybody. So, uh, I'm here today. Uh, I got some boxes off of eBay of the new... I know. This is my new thing here. I almost have to set together, so I bought these off the internet. And, um, I got two boxes for 110 with shipping, which is about the average price of what they're going for. They're very expensive, and there's a lot to this series. And I actually think people are selling them way too cheap than the, what they're really going for because there's a lot to this series. And later on, uh, once I get uh, some more information on doing research on it, I'll let you guys know. But you get, in this particular, these blaster boxes, they're blaster exclusives. Um, you get the fluorescent uh, orange ones possible in there. And then there's the four, uh, you know, mosaic uh, prisms that you get in there. And, um... There are also some scripts and rookie scripts in there too. Uh, I have pulled out two autos in there. One of Kobe White, I believe, and the other fella was um, Patal. He's a good player. So we're going to get right into this. And, um, hmm, looking for my knife. Oh, here it is. You know, I always have your penny sleeves and uh, your top loaders ready for these things. So we're going to see what we get out of here. Hopefully, uh, the Zion train still keeps going. These are the ones I pulled out so far. I've gotten two green ones so far out of this uh, series. And um, I've gotten a debut out of there so far. And uh, I get two green ones, a debut, two deb debuts, and also um, oh, the green ones, yeah. Okay, and the standard rookie card. And everybody's like, well, the, the rookie cards are going down in price or whatever, these standard ones. Well, what happens, the same thing with Jeter's, there are limited editions of these cards made, and what people do is they get them and they keep reselling them to, to, to each other. And then uh, the smart people, what they do is they buy them up, send, send them out to PSA, get them graded. If you get 8s or 9s or in that situation or even 10s, you're looking at huge money. Huge money. And basketball is huge. That's why uh, Mastro and a bunch of these guys were trimming modern day basketball cards because there's huge money in the refractors and stuff like that. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs. Everything looks straight. Doesn't look like it was re you know resealed or anything because you got to watch that stuff too on eBay. They will open these boxes up and they will uh, reseal them, and uh, you got to watch that. And uh, they do that with everything. So when you're opening them up, huh? That's just a. I wonder what that's all about. That's what I'm talking about. There might be some kind of code in there. It's a sticker for for not stealing, I guess. All right. Yeah. Anyway, that seemed to be sealed. The packs seem to be all right. And what they'll do is they'll weigh the packs. Uh, in uh, modern day stuff, you'll, they'll weigh them. Even in Pokemon, they're doing that. And uh, that way they get the good stuff out of there and they'll send you stuff that's garbage. So we're going to see what's in here. First pack we're opening up. Nice. I'm excited because I'm just trying to finish my set. And it is brutal trying to find the early cards in that set. And these cards are double stamped. If you find cards that are double stamped, that's the Admiralty in them. And they're uh, worth a little bit more money than uh, the regular cards. Depending who the players are. So that's pretty cool. First one. And uh, looks like we got a refractor on that, that one. And our rookie is Somatic. He's a good ball player. And um, it's actually a card I need. So I'm going to be putting these in penny sleeves as I go on with this. So they don't get mucked up. Because I do need these cards for my set. As I said. And, um, and as I was saying... Um, that's from card 121. I'm not sure if I need that one, but we will find out. When I got my binder finished, I will show you guys what it looks like. It's starting to look really awesome. And uh, Aaron Holiday. It's card number seven, and I needed that for sure. And each one of these cards are going for, I um, mean, eBay prices are ridiculous, but if you're paying $60 for a box, there's card number 14 right there. Damon Lillard got game. That's a badass card. That's a different version of the one I have. That's a special insert refractor. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. 
Those will go on paint sleeves and top loaders. Hopefully we can get some stuff to put some new uh, on there. Uh, get a couple stands going and definitely. So there's our four cards for that one. We got a rookie and two cards that Sean needed for a set. So let's keep going and hopefully we get our Zion Auto. And that will complete my Zion quest for a fabric. Special insert rookies and his rookies out of the set. I know I'm asking for a lot, but I can dream. I think the Zion autos are probably in hobby boxes. And um, the hobby boxes are pretty going up there, pretty up there in price. Really cool how they did these cards. There are some stuff on on some of them that look like they are, but that's actually how the cards are made. So and that's why I wear gloves. There's a green one in there. Nice, nice, nice. It's pretty cool. Mm. I guess so. Oh, I see a USA card. Oh, oh. Let's see who the USA card is. My man, Magic Johnson. And I got Larry Bird last night, so that's cool. Larry's going to go on a thing. And everybody's like, oh, what's that green one? Which I know I'm getting excited myself. I get excited. I've been having really good luck with the Zion. And if we get me another Zion, we'll be happy. We got Jeff Teague. Jeff Teague green one. Nice. Jeff Teague's a good player. So we got that one. The green ones are really cool. I got the, the binder with them in them too. And there are short prints to those. Obviously, the, all the green ones are short prints. And when you're, you know, when you're putting these things in paint sleeves, Make sure that there's nothing on them and, you know, wear gloves when you're dealing with this stuff. You're paying 60 bucks a box, man, and, you know, um, maybe even more. It's going to go up in value. There's special things about these cards, like I'm saying, and later on everybody's going to be like, uh, no one I'm talking about because, um, you know, I think people are selling them way cheap. Um, they're very good cards. It, it, it's just a... These are nicer than anything, and the reason why... Basketball is so big, as I was trying to explain to Joshua earlier and, and some other friends, is like you get to watch basketball on TV. There's a lot of a lot of sports that just aren't on TV except football twice a you know uh, a week. You know that's a pretty Joel Embud's badass. I think I have a Joel Embud. That's one night. That's one card one eighty nine. That's very cool. Kylie Irving. That's a cool one too. Got that one. And with my extra, oh, there's our first uh, will to win. And my man, Gano Kalapas. That's a good one. And these cards are going up. He he is uh, he is definitely a, um, a high-end player that people collect. And there's our rookie. Poor fellow plays for the Knicks. I don't see any of them doing anything in the future. I mean, they are drafting players, but... Uh, the owner of the Knicks is not very well liked guy, and to me, I don't really think he knows what he's doing. Um, he kicks fans out of the out, out, out of the uh, stadium because they tell him that uh, the team's not doing well, and he can't take it. You know, take it. So, I uh, personally uh, don't think he's a good owner. So we're gonna get these in penny sleeves. I just uh, I'm not sure which ones I need for my set, and I don't want my set not to be perfect. So that is a really cool card. I know that this uh, I have a few of his rookies and they're very high end stuff. Um, always have been. And Town is another guy that everybody's collecting. So right now we got one box open and then and uh, I got another one. I got two boxes and I got a bunch of packs coming my way. So we're gonna be doing a lot of basketball. Um, hopefully you guys like it. If you like the product, it's very cool. And uh, you know. Uh, if people want to sell these cards for two and three dollars on the internet, uh, I would buy them up and um, you know try to make sure that they're in good condition. Obviously, when you're buying them, this is another cool card. I got almost every version of this card. This is the first time I've actually pulled a regular version of it. Trace Thompson, Damon Jones. I think I might need Damon Jones. I think that's a low end card. And then debut. Hall of Fame, I'm sorry. Patrick Ewing. I need a Patrick Ewing for my set. I know that. I have not pulled any Patrick Ewing cards yet out of this. This is my first Patrick Ewing card. 
So I definitely need that for the NBA Hall of Set. I mean the NBA uh and then Damon Jones. And then we got my man here. And that is a 20 number 34. And meaning that for my set also. And then we got Marcus Smart. Have a pretty badass rookie card of him um, from the day. That's a pretty cool green one. The green ones are really badass. The pink ones we're looking for and the orange ones also. So they're the variations. And you only get four cards in a pack. And I see people selling these packs for $12. Be very cautious buying packs on the internet that are unopened from the box. They do weigh them. And uh, there is a way to tell what cards are, uh, you know, there may be an auto or something in them. All right, here's pack number four. Yeah, there's eight packs. So this is pack number four. I'll try to be as careful as I can. And I don't like looking at the back because then I see what card I get. And then it's like, ah, oh, or whatever. But flip them upside down. It's really cool. But Lopez is a good player too. And Meany, him also. It's number 105. Have a really cool Carter Frank. He's a badass player. Yeah. Almost looks like that's double stamped. X card number 91. And then we got Give and Go with my man, Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday is a badass player. And I don't have him, so I know that for a fact. So that's going to go in our set. And we got a nice rookie of Congoria Weatherspoon. I wonder if that's Clarence Weatherspoon's kid. He used to play for the 76ers back in the day. And there's a comedian named Clarence Weatherspoon also. A different guy. So we're getting some pretty good rookies. We got some pretty cool inserts so far of some really top-end, high-end players. And uh, it's going to look really good in our set. When we put it together, when you guys see it, you're going to be really amazed. You're like, oh... I took some time to put it together. I really did some nice collages for the cover of it, of the boxes. And I've seen people selling empty boxes for like 5 or $10 a piece. So, yeah. I'm not doing all that. That's craziness. I'm just not... Uh, imagine someone returning an open box they bought on the internet. Bless you, buddy. Josh was allergic to cats. Mm -hmm. And I got two of them in my house, but he takes his medicine. All right, here's pack number Whew, yeah, two more packs, and we're looking good so far, so I'm not disappointed. Uh, just opening these up, man, I'm just excited. Just be careful, like I said, I don't, I see guys in here just whipping through these things, and they have no idea what kind of, you know, what kind of value these cards are. They're just whipping through them like they're, like a chainsaw. <laughs> you know, I might as well use a chainsaw to open these packs. If you're going to just do that, I don't understand why somebody would spend that kind of money on on something and just go ahead and rip into it without no regard for the ability of the card. This is a really cool card, too. These are all badass cards. It's another Drew Holiday. Like purple and shiny. Yes, yeah, shiny and silver factor. Yeah. They're all, that's what I like about them. And then we got our. Rookie, which KY Bowman, it's a pretty good player. I don't know if I have him yet. I do have him in other ones. I have him in the Prism. I have a Prism uh, refractor like that one, and I have that on. Uh, I'm going to be posting that on my store, which I'll. Uh, I'm started a new store, um, and I'll leave the. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna be doing is just specializing in one sport, uh, maybe one or two sports. But uh, uh, right now we're trying to get into doing Pokemon and stuff like that. And I got so much extra baseball and so much extra football and a lot of extra hockey and stuff. So I'm gonna be selling that stuff on my eBay store, and um, the people that watch my channel and stuff like that, I will cut you deals on stuff. Um, just let me know what you're looking for, and I'll see if I can get that for you because I'm just going to be specializing in one or two sports like I said. I do see another green one. It's pretty cool. Here's Mark Cassell. Let's see what our debut uh, see the debut rookie. I always get the green ones last and there is a debut rookie green one. 
That's pretty cool. Pretty sure. Yeah, Kendrick. Kendrick, no, and I have him, so I have extras. And the extra cards that I have of these series, I will be, um, you know, selling them on eBay also for a reasonable cost. I'm not going to try to scout people or anything like that. But this is Mark Gassell, and we got Mr. Shaquille O'Neal, Hall of Fame green one. I'll show you that one. That's the second one I pulled of him, and um, that's pretty badass. Shaq O'Neal, it's a green one. So we got some really cool green ones so far. Hall of Fame, and we got Mr. Magic Johnson green one Hall of Fame. So we got one more pack out of this box, and we're going to see what we got here. Hopefully there's an auto in there. Or something that's uh, I mean all this stuff is really badass and I need I know I need a few of these for my for my set for sure I've already known that I've seen a couple low uh, number of cards that I needed so definitely excited about that and this is our last pack let's get the auto let's get something that's really really especially cool but as I, yeah Zion or RG Barrett Oh, the bear is pretty badass. It's a nice one. And I do see a green one and a debut in this one. So, let's see what our debut is. Brandon Clark. It's nice. Nice rookie card. Nice rookie card there, Brandon Clark. Not sure if I have him yet. I didn't even write the numbers down on the guys that I have should have so we got some really nice rookies and really nice I just like the way they did these things all right yeah Kimball Walker Green. that's actually a different variation card they're not numbered but you see the white in them it's even shorter print than the green ones so we got some pretty cool stuff. So even though you see that it says autograph all the scripts on there, people get confused on there and they get mad. They're like, damn, it's supposed to be auto in here. No, it says possible chance. That's how they get you to buy them. It doesn't actually have an auto in them. And that's kind of good that every box doesn't because it makes the ones that you pull out worth more money. So recap real quick. Let's go for the green ones. Some really cool. We got a Shaq O'Neal Hall of Famer. That's the second one I've gotten him this year. That's a really cool one. Jeff Teague's a good ball player. Marcus Smart. Got those. And we got our two white variation cards. Or crystal. I don't know what you call them. There's we didn't get no orange for us out of here that I'm aware of. Um I don't know what they consider that, but this says it in the on the box that they're supposed to have that's the thing people are trying to pull out of there too so i think we did awesome i got enough cards in my set you know to looking pretty good and um when you buy stuff from me this stuff will be immaculate or as best as i can have it you know because you can see how i'm doing this and i do this with almost everything that's that i sell or uh that i collect because i just uh you know i want people to have nice things just like i have and you know when i go out and buy stuff and i'm going to resell it i want you to know that when you buy it off me that it is going to be uh immaculate is the best that i can do i mean if it comes out of the box that way that's nothing i can do about it but you know like i said and this right here i know this car is like ten dollars itself so and um these will go in my binders some of the higher end cards, I put them in one touch, I mean in top loaders, and then obviously stuff like this, I put them in one touches, and then like since I got double uh, Shaquille O'Neal, I will probably give that to Ashley, because she loves Lakers, and uh, she likes herself some Shaq, and her birthday's coming up on the 24th, so I'm going to try to do something nice for her, and uh, she'll be 30, and uh, oh, there's the other debut. So, we got three debuts out of there. No, my bad. Two debuts. And there's the Hall of Famer I was looking for. That's Sh uh, Patrick Ewing. <laughs> um, too bad that Michael Jordan made a permanent poster out of that guy. 
Um, if you guys ever seen the Fleer 8093 where he just dunking on them, it's uh, it's pretty funny. Um, it is actually one of the funniest posters I've ever seen, and uh, it's not funny to Patrick Ewing because he's a permanent uh, <laughs> he's a permanent dual board for Shaquille. I mean for Michael Jordan for the rest of his life, and I'm sure they have fun with that story. <laughs> But uh, it wasn't a playoffs too. I watched that happen live. I was watching TV. I couldn't believe it. Because uh, Patrick Ewing was a dominant man. And especially when he played at Georgetown. The man is is the greatest. One of the best centers that's ever played the game. You know, underrated. Tough guy. Good 18 foot shot. Can play inside and outside. And But Shaq is the most dominant center I've ever seen in my generation. Will Chamberlain is the most dominant center ever to play the game. Obviously, but... Um, Shaq's there so let me know what you think about this uh, product I think it's awesome and um, the people that are collecting it know a lot what's going on behind the scenes with these cards so if you could you know if you had you know what I would do is get my hands on as much as you can try to put a set together put it aside it'll be worth you can put this kind of stuff up there with the 86 player that's where I'm going to go out with this I mean and you'll see later on why um, there are just so many special cards, and PSA in these cards, you can't go wrong. You'll make, uh, if you're in it for the money and you want to flip the cards, you're going to make money on basketball flipping these cards. But we're getting them graded. If you're in it for collecting, then you're going to get a super awesome product anyway, and you're going to be um, happy with the uh, product because it's just uh, very unique and very awesome. So uh, thank you for watching. Happy uh, 4th of July. We'll be back in a little while with a... Um, with another video of us opening some more but as i was saying before i have my store that's my store on ebay you mentioned uh you mentioned you watched a video or something i'll definitely cut you some deals i always throw extra cards in when people buy stuff from me so it's going to be beneficial for all of us i'm going to sell my collection most of my collection off and you guys are going to get good deals on stuff and i'm going to get um you know room in my house and Ashley will be happy, and then me and Joshua and Ashley will be able to collect Pokemon and do other things too. And you guys will have awesome cards, and I know they'll go to a good house. That is my eBay um, account. I have some things posted. I have some baseball boxes over there. They're uh, pretty reasonably priced, uh, lower than most people are selling them. And everything that I sell has free shipping on it. So, and um, I do, I did post a really rare um, Tony Gwen. Um, auto uh it's from 2003 it's very rare it's blue ink and the starting bid is 150 and i just talked to uh the people that uh from upper deck sweet spot and uh, they don't even know the print run on it so it could be you know uh, worth a lot more than i have it start starting bid at but uh i like tony gwen but stuff like that as i'm saying Padre fans will like that a lot more than I will. So uh, there's little things like that. Austin Matthews, PSA 10s on there. I got a bunch of stuff. I have a lot of baseball. I have lots. I'm just going to be doing baseball lots. And um, that way people can get their ser their um, collection um, put together and their sets put together. And um, I'm glad to do it. And that's my eBay address. And uh, if you guys need anything, just let me know. Let me know what you think about the products. I know these are expensive. Um, when you go out there and buy these things, when you uh, when you get them from, from the internet or whatever, always make sure, I had looked before I opened this, always make sure the box is not tampered with and that they didn't reseal it because they will do that, especially with fabric cards and stuff. They'll reseal them. They'll weigh the packs. They do it in Pokemon. They do it in other sports. And um, then you'll just get regular packs with nothing in them. So, once again, thanks for watching. What do you think, Josh? I know you like them. I like them. They're pretty cool. Josh. I like the green, pinks, and just all, like, the colors and stuff. So. Yeah, it is pretty cool. pretty cool. I think it's the best. This is one of the best. These are up there with the Optics 2016s when they first busted them things out. Yeah. Some guy robbed the hell out of me and took a bend of my Optics. I literally had a body. God bless you. I probably had $7,000 or more in Optics. And uh, I was doing a trade with a guy, and uh, I had two bends, and before I knew what was going on, um, I actually wasn't doing a trade, I was selling it. I took the bend of optics, because I was making room in my little apartment in Ohio, and I put it aside, and his colleague uh, snagged it, 
why I was doing business with him. And then before I realized what the hell happened, I was like, shit. And then I was like, ah, no big deal. There's nothing really in it. And then because I had all the Ezekiels and stuff like that, I pulled out and had them in top loaders and things like that. But yeah, there was all my whole set of, which I got my new set back. I bought the <clears throat> Don Ross 2016-17 um, uh, standard non-optic. I got that set put back together. Now I'm going to work on all the optics and all the stuff that I lost from 2016 to present time in um, basketball and football. So thank you for watching. If you guys are interested in doing trades or something like that, or like I said, you go to my eBay store, you can always hit me up. And if you want, you see something on eBay, maybe you're uh, saying that, hey, I don't want to pay taxes or whatever, or whatever the case might be. I like doing business on eBay because there's a record of it, but I do have a PayPal account. You guys can, we can do business that way, but I do like doing business on eBay because it's straight. And if you're not happy with anything, you get your money back from me or eBay or whatever. But uh, I'm not selling stuff that's high-end that's not graded. I had a bad experience with people trying to sell me, uh, switch my Derek Jeter's cars out when I was send, sending them, uh, selling them and sending me crappy Derek Jeter's when I was sending them good ones. And then they're trying to get their money back. And then I'm stuck with a Derek Jeter 4 when I sent them out an 8 or 7.5 or something, you know. And it's just, uh, so, new days, new times. Thank you for watching. Happy 4th of July. And we'll be back with another video soon. So, uh, like I said, if you guys need anything, just uh, go right here. Hit me up. I'll leave my email address on here too, my new one. So, thanks a lot. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Keep doing what you're doing. And enjoy doing it. What do you say? Bye.